welcome back to my channel it is morgan here if you're new if you're returning welcome back um as you can see from the title today i'm doing passion twist um i'm almost done at the sew section just to show you guys how i achieved passion twist on my natural hair no heat no blow drying nothing this is just it detangled so it looks a little you know but <laughs> if you guys have seen my other videos you know my hair is very thick so I'm just going to be showing you guys how I did my passion choice by myself. Um, and yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. And I'm just going to get right into the video. So for the hair that I used, I used this, um, this Water Wave 3, it's like the 3-pack, the Ruwa. <laughs> pre-stretched hair it's the um this is the water wave one i used the shade 1b um and i bought three i bought three packs um but i only had to open two so i'm gonna just keep this for the next time um and basically since this came in a pack of three like little since this came in a pack of like three little like bundles whatever you want to call these little things um and this is 18 inch by the way but since it came in a three pack i only opened i used one whole pack and then i think i used in the second pack i used one other full one and then like about a little bit more than half of the second one so i probably used about five ish of those little bundles in my whole head because my hair is really thick and I thought I was really gonna need more but I didn't so um yeah I use that so I'll link that down below in the description box and I'm about to show you guys how I'm going to do my last three fashion twists and I'm going to show you what products I'm using and how I'm going to do them so let's get into it also I'm going to mention before I start this is the crochet <laughs> this is the crochet method so you are definitely going to need one of these little like tools I feel like they all look the same they all have this like pink and green and they're like have this little hook or whatever but this is the crochet method so I recommend this method there's another method I know with like rubber bands but um I feel like rubber bands break off your hair, so I don't know how that's a protective style like that. So we're just going to stick with the crochet method, okay? So starting with this little last section, praise the Lord, because this is taking me so long. But take this section. Well, I'm going to take this section. Obviously, you're not taking it. And I'm going to part it equally right here. And then I'm just gonna like try and make it as perfect as possible. I can't really see, so it's kind of hard. That looks really pretty straight. So this is the part I'm about to work on. So I'm gonna take this little front section and I'm just going to clip it down I don't really want to do it too rough because I don't want to mess up the ones I already did um so I'm gonna I need to do my hair like a lot okay so this is the the section right so this is the section right here right so what I'm gonna be using um okay so what I mainly use on my whole head was um, this cream of nature with argon oil perfect edges and literally y'all it wasn't I mean this wasn't a new container but I literally like only have a tiny bit <laughs> left in there as you can see so I'm about to use the rest of it up for this little section and then I also paired with that edge control I am using these these Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. Um, this is one of my favorites forever. And that's what it looks like. 
and this one I've had like literally forever this one definitely um, held up longer than the argan oil one but I love them both so and then as a moisturizer since we are using using since we are since we are working with our natural hair y'all I am using this um, cream of nature um, hair butter this moisture hair butter for natural hair um, and this is a like custardy kind of thing um, it's really thick and it feels really nice I use this in one of my latest videos for my braid out after I reverted my hair back to curly and that braid out literally lasted me two weeks so I love this product so I'm using that as well and then the only thing I always the only thing you'll need is like some sort of like comb like I was showing you earlier and then a crochet tool and that is literally it um you can have an edge brush that's optional if you want to do your edges at the end but we're just gonna start and I'm just gonna do it and basically you're gonna learn just by repeating it this is only my second time doing my passion twist so yeah you just get better just by doing it so I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm going to do it so taking this perfect edges argon oil cream of nature thing gonna scrape some of that last little bit out okay <laughs> not all of it because I gotta portion it take a little bit off okay <laughs> and I'm gonna take it and basically I need this to be a little flatter so I can see my my thing. Hold up. Okay. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna basically push it into the roots around like the perimeter of the little part that we made. And since I'm out of that, since I don't want to use too much of that um thing because I don't have a lot of it left, I'm gonna go in with the curls, blueberry bliss, um curl control place, place paste. And I'm gonna do the same thing and put it around the perimeter and push it into the roots until it feels like it's coated all around. Okay. And then taking that hair butter, I'm just gonna take a little bit in my hand and put it on to moisturize my natural hair focusing on the ends a lot and just making sure it feels moisturized you know can't be having dry hair under the protective style yeah so um i put a little bit extra like more than i normally would if i was doing a braid out or if i was just like moisturizing my hair just because i know it's gonna be in these for a minute a couple weeks you know so i just want to make sure it's moisturized and then i just kind of finger detangle it um so I don't pull out too much hair. I'm just kind of, you know, going through it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of the hair from the pack. I already took these out. And I'm just going to kind of go like this all the way down just to separate it a little bit, you know. Okay. So I'm just separating the hair. It so it looks more frizzy not frizzy but that's the word I'm gonna use so what we're gonna do y'all is we're gonna take the section and you're just gonna do three sections like a normal braid so you're gonna start off you're gonna grab your three sections like you're just gonna braid your hair up oh. <laughs> so you're gonna take your three sections and then you're gonna braid your hair like normal probably like three complete like times like of each section going around that's what I do and then I hold that little braid tight with one hand like this and then with the other hand I take the crochet tool make sure it's open okay and then you're going to stick it on the inside of the braid and pull it 
through to the other side so you want to put it through right by the roots okay and then that's in there with the hook facing up and the little latch open and then you take your hair and you make sure it's folded equally and I just take it with one hand and make sure I have like a little tiny slit and then I stick it on the loop and then I close the latch and then I messed up but this is really what happens y'all because I can't see okay now it's in there and now I'm gonna close it pull it through enough until I can grab the loop and then you take the loop and you grab your natural hair and the um the extension part of your hair that you put on there and you grab the two and you loop <laughs> I'm sorry you grab the two like this and then you loop it through okay and then you pull it tight but before I pull it tight I make sure that the ends are even so if I need to pull one side a little more than the other and then I just do them together like that so then what we're gonna do you're gonna make sure this is tight okay it should be pretty tight not suffocating you because you don't want to like suffocate it that's not the word you don't want it to be too tight so it's like pulling at your edges oh, God. but what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna split your natural hair in half and the fake hair in half so you're gonna have it like this and then you're just literally gonna do a normal twist and you're just going to make sure from the start you're doing a pretty tight twist this hair is like getting super tangled because of the way I did it because I messed up but if you just pull it through it comes right out so anyways do your twist like normal and make sure it's pretty tight so that um, it doesn't unravel as much because this hair you do have to set it with hot water so some of the pieces will unravel because it is a twist unfortunately so <laughs> you just have to be as careful as possible in the beginning so you have less work to do at the end but yeah I'm just making like see how tight like this is right now I'm just gonna twist it all the way okay so at this point I can kind of see that it's uneven so what I have been doing is taking some scissors and kind of leveling it out a little bit and cutting some little flyaways from the fake hair but I'm getting scared that it's my real hair so I don't do too much y'all uh, but just a little bit because it'd be uneven and looking crazy so I'm just going to twist to the end of the twist Getting, we're, we're one step closer. I mean, you know, to being the baddest. So what we're gonna do again is the same steps. We're gonna take the comb. We're gonna go a little bit faster. We're gonna take the comb. We're gonna part. We're gonna fix the part, you know. Make it look, you know, a little crispy. I mean, I ain't no hairstylist, but it's the one in the front, so it gotta look a little, you know, nice. So, to be honest, I don't know what to do with this piece, so it's gonna go behind my ear. Because that clip is gonna be in the way. So we're gonna take our blueberry. Well, you know what? I'm gonna just use the rest of this argon. A little bit of it. We're gonna coat the perimeter 
with the gem. I'm gonna go in with some of the blueberry bliss. Okay, so we're gonna take our moisturizer and make sure we focus it all throughout, a little bit extra. Focus on the ends, just to make sure it's extra, extra moisturized. We don't need no dry hair under the twist, y'all. Cause that'll just be the opposite of what we want. So then we're going to make sure we have our piece of hair ready and all stretched out like I was showing you how I do it. And then I take the piece of hair, three sections, Then I'm gonna braid about three like full times until you feel like you have enough braid honestly like you should be able to see it a little bit so I think that's good and I'm gonna take my crochet tool I'm going to make sure it's opened. I'm going to stick it through the inside and make sure the hook is up, latched down. I'm going to take the piece of hair, hook it on there, latch it, pull it, grab the loop, and then we're going to pull our real hair, hunty, and the extension. Hunty, do the loop. Do the loop the loop. Yes. Then we're going to make sure our two ends are even and we're going to pull it tight. And then we're going to take the two pieces and then make sure we have natural hair with each one. Right? And then we're just going to do a normal twist. Honestly, the back is the trickiest part. So like when you're on yourself, it's kind of hard. You don't know what you're parting, you don't know what you're doing. So on the back, I really don't part. I just kind of feel around and kind of make my sections and clip stuff up. So that's the only thing about doing it to yourself. But other than that, it's not too bad. Because if you can kind of part the sides and kind of feel around where you think it might be even, or have like a mirror and hold it to the back or whatever if you really want to get fancy but I wasn't doing all that so hopefully it's not too bad but <laughs> um like I said it's only my second time doing these and I'm not a hairstylist like <laughs> I'm just showing y'all how I did it because I just feel like I didn't want to put any heat on my hair right now and it's very possible to do braids without having your hair pressed or blow dried so if you want a nice protective style for your natural hair this is it because it's so easy and they're so lightweight like your head won't be that sore actually it probably won't be sore at all and I'm snipping off some of the little flyaways at the bottom and yeah your hair like these like twists are so lightweight like it literally feels like nothing's on my head right now and I probably have like 50 twists, maybe more. I don't know. But just twisting until the end. And we're going and we're going and we're going and we're going. Going and we're going and we're going and we're going. And I can see that this one is still a little bit longer. So I'm going to just snip on a little angle, you know. A little so and we just gonna twist to the end and twist and twist and twist and twist and twist and twist and woo <laughs> and so now it's the final countdown okay um, let's do this last piece so we're gonna use the rest of this argon oil edge control
make sure you're twisting it tight so what I mean by tight is okay so say I'm just twisting it like this and just not pulling it tight I'm just doing a regular twist or whatever just doing a regular twist but look how much I can pull up and how much space up I have left to twist if you don't do it so don't make yourself have extra work in the end and I'm going to trim this because this is a lot of extra hair. Oops. Okay guys, so this is what the passion twist look like before I dip the ends, before I do anything, before I put any most on, any studying, anything, no edges, no nothing, honey. So this is what they look like. They are probably two about my mid back i'm pretty tall so if you're short it's probably pretty long on you <laughs> um i'm almost like five eight so i'm pretty tall i guess but the next step i'm going i'm not going to show you guys i'm just going to go do it and come back but i'm going to boil some hot water boil some water not hot water boil some water and then i'm going to zip my hair in it um, and then while I wait for it to boil, I'm just gonna like retwist certain ones that came out and stuff like, you know, while I wait and just retwist the ends so that right when they go in there to set, they're already retwisted. So that's what I'm about to do and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys the rest of what I'm uh, gonna do, you know. <laughs> so I'll be right back. So... The braids, I mean twists, have been dipped. Okay, you can see now the ends are a little bit straighter, less curly. Almost as if I like perm them or something. But to be honest, I understand the look looks a little bit better when they're not dipped. Um, but to me they're still cute and they're less um, in... <laughs> The less of an annoyance because when you don't dip them they literally unravel 24 7 so this is how they look when you dip them so i really don't think they're terrible i like them so that's all that matters <laughs> but yeah so these are the twists so now what i'm gonna do is I bought this Tali Waji Protective Styles Growth Oil. Um, it says it has bamboo and coconut milk with coconut oil and sweet almond oil. Um, so this is like their Protective Styles line of like wanting to try it. So I figured why not. So what I'm about to do is put some of this oil. Oh, it's already open. I didn't know what it smelled like. It's not. Okay, it's brand new. Sealed for my protection. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the roots of my hair. Whoa. Um, I'm not gonna go too crazy right now because yeah I really like their oils I have like this other one by them it's really good and this one feels really nice so but this one specifically like for their protective styles which is why I got it so I think that's good for now because I literally just moisturized the heck out of it already so that's that okay so the last thing that I'm gonna the last thing I'm gonna do is use my go-to mousse this is like the mousse that I've been using it since I was a little girl. My mom was using it. Her mom was using it. My great grandma was using it. We all use this big roll mousse. 
This is the Argon oil one. Obviously, I love Argon oil. It just does well in my hair, so I guess that's why. But this one eliminates frizz. What? Oh, that was my comb. Um, <laughs> but I'm just gonna use this. Um, it's better for me to start early and start taking care of the twist than to let them start getting frizzy and then it's too late. <laughs> And then they just look a mess. So I'm going to shake it up. And then I'm going <laughs> What? <laughs> this is brand new. That should not have happened. Oh my god. Okay. That was scary. Hopefully it still works. I just bought this. Oh, okay. Been not fool with me on camera. So I just take some in my hand. Less is more with mousse, so you gotta be careful. Just rub it together. And then we're gonna put it right over the braids. I mean twist. I always call them braids, but they twist for real. And then you just kinda you don't have to fully rub it in because it does this thing itself. But just make sure you mainly cover them. You don't have to go too wild right now because they're not frizzy yet. But we just want to eliminate it and just start, you know, early. I'm gonna take a little bit more. Just a little bit. And get this little back part that I didn't touch. And it dries and dries clear, dries by itself, you know, and you can't see it. But it just helps to, you know, eliminate the frizz, keep it nice and smelling good, looking good, you know, a little, it adds some shine, some, you know, natural sheen or whatever. And, you know, we can always go in now after my moose tried to play with me and take the top off. I bought a new edge brush because mom was ghetto and broke um the comb was broken off the um one of my brushes the whole thing came off the like brush head so the one i had was like oh i don't know how to open this oh i just did it the hard way anyways bought a new one i bought it in blue y'all because i didn't never have blue before i always get pink so i'm gonna get blue today so we what we're gonna use for our edges i guess we're just gonna use this blueberry bliss we're going to take a little bit on my finger, put it on the wrist, I mean, the hand. <laughs> I'll just be talking, y'all, don't mind me. And then I'm going to take the brush and brush it on there. And let's see how they look. Okay. Okay, we can deal with her. And I don't go too crazy with the baby hairs right now because my hair, since I didn't make the passion twist too tight, it will come out. So, I'm just going to, I'm just going to lightly do the baby hairs, okay? lightly sometimes I like to go in the other direction I feel like it makes it have a little pizzazz or whatever <laughs> you know adds a little spice like ooh I can go in both directions <laughs> you know like my edges don't care which way they're going either way they flick that type of type of vibe you know but my skin gets red when I do my edges. Like, I swear my skin gets red, like, if I do anything. So, <laughs> if you watch my channel, you know that. Anything will make my face red. Literally washing my face makes my face red. So, let's do the other side of edges. Let's do these babies. These are baby hairs. Yeah, baby, literally. <laughs> We're just gonna 
do it it's out because the rest of my edges i really put up in them braids because i just it's like it prevents like early you know messiness if the edges are kind of already tucked away and then they come out naturally as my hair grows so that's that let's do this little side you know my little side that's that's my favorite that little, that little side piece that be my favorite for real but this one don't want to work I really need some water, you know. That's really what I like to do. But we gonna be alright right now. This isn't, I'm not going nowhere, so. Really don't matter. But that's my edges for now. Nothing. Just literally, just a little, like, so I look like I care. <laughs> okay, so. That is my passion twist tutorial. Um, this is really what they look like. Um, they're super cute, super bouncy, you know, made to last, especially with dipping the ends. Um, also, because it's my natural hair, you don't have to worry about, you know, the extra step of blow drying your hair, heat damage, whatever. You know, you can just wash your hair i started with freshly washed hair and then just went right into it so yeah so once these dry they'll really be done and then i bought a new bonnet this is the extra large one with argon and black castor oils here we go with this argon oil again <laughs> um but my sister's face is beat to the gods right before bed. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, sis. Come on, come through model. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this is the um, the bonnet I got. It's extra large because my bonnet was too small for these. Oh, we getting fancy. We getting fancy. Okay, we zebra over here. Chef zebra. What was that? Oh, the barcode thing. I'm like, what the? Falling out the sky. Can't be doing that. But yeah, that's my new bonnet or whatever. So, we're going to go with her for now. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial for beginners. For anybody just trying to do a new style on their natural hair while we're in quarantine. You know, you just switch it up like me. Or you don't feel like doing your hair like me um this is the right video for you so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to your girl and leave a comment if you feel so moved to do so um i will see you guys next week so bye y'all my phone is blowing up i'm so sorry it must be popular tonight let's see I'll talk to you guys later.